Hi folks, I've uh, just drawn this very simple Norfolk scene out here, Norfolk buildings. You've got a, a, a roof going right the way down to, the, to a, a single storey at the back, extended at the back, with two storeys in the front. That one, a normal house, a bit of a barn here. Just some some trees in the distance, a bit of a light grey wash, blue wash in the back here, and some larger trees here. And um, I'm going, uh, I might use a mop, for, I think I think I will, I'll use a mop for those, what, for those ones. Uh, not that one, I'll use my Pro Art mop. That's the Pro Art. A bit of squirrel, what's this one? I'll use this one, this is a high quality uh, number six mop pro art it's a high quality goat hair wash brush but i'm going to use that just with the tree and some of this but i want to use the hake as the workhorse it's a basic picture of how to put washes in on a wet surface and the rest once it's dry and use a hair dryer just to speed the whole process up you don't have to use a hair dryer you can let it air dry hair 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 and come back to it later on, I'm going to have a cup of tea, let it dry off of it. But for the purpose of demonstrations, it's much easier for me to use a hairdryer. Right, now, uh, I've got them in this, uh, in this uh, Ziploc bag, look. and I've got a bit of old toweling in the bottom of it. I'll show you that. And I'll take that out. So it keeps the paints nice and moist. So there's an old, an old bath towel in there, which is soaked with water or sprayed with water. Put that to one side, and away we go. So I put in, I'm going to put in a, some blue. I, I usually put the raw sienna in, but but I'm liking the, oh, this is a simple wash, and then we'll put in a bit of. Uh, bit of sienna in that now, just to warm it up a little bit, touch of red. Make sure your colours are dissolved and they're just... Alright, just warm it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put in a bit of cloud on that, a bit of light red but keep it on the blue side. Well, you don't have to, but um, just make sure your colour's dissolved. So I'll just put in a little bit of... A bit of cloud underneath these bits here. Right, I'm going to... Well, I can put a heavier, heavy bit in. My hags are losing their hairs now. I have to send them for a transplant. With the paints, paper's wet like that, you can do what you like with it. Within reason, I'm going to dry that now. I'll reclip it, just clean the hake, make sure it's all nice and clean. Now I'm going to just go over to the mop and I've just pulled pull tight. I've just ordered three packs of 20 sheet packs of this quarter imperial. Uh, right, here we go. Take your headphones off or fast forward. Go. Don't know what happened there. No need to, to shrink the paper. This is a 90 pound. A 
90 pound rough paper which is quite lightweight but it's a very very good quality it's Saunders Waterford from Ken Bromley these stocks the top on it so let's put a bit of a bit of a blue now watercolour painting is all about lightness of touch Oh, Norfolk sort of landscape at the back there. All right. So let's uh, put a bit of uh, countryside underneath that. So have a bit of light yellow and a bit of bit of burnt umber. Yellow. I'm going to put trees on that, but I want the landscape sloping down. Right, now we go darker as we're coming down there, so burnt umber. Bit of paint's grey, so just touch. I don't know what that is there. It's wonderful paper, this Saunders. We just can't get the uh, any more of the cheap uh, Winsor Newton version. That was just a job lot that Ken Bromley had. Okay, now we can develop on that. Let's just go and get a little bit of a bit of darker shadow on there. Just imagine that uh, that's the uh, cloud shadows being cast from the ground. I'll uh, dry that and I'll, uh, no that's dry, I'm going to, going to do those uh, buildings now. So what I'll do now, careful, I'll just wet it, I haven't dried it, <coughs> but I don't want to go down right down to the, the uh, grasses. Just wetting that one, and we can put a bit, of, a bit of a shadowy colour away from the light. So let's just let the uh, paper or the water just bleed, and a little bit of bit of sienna in there, a bit of raw sienna. Keeping away, from, I don't want that colour from the land dragged up into the buildings. Okay, let that, that dry off. We can we can add some texture to that later. Let's just get the shadow in under the leaves. All right, the same. Do this one. I've made this difficult for myself by putting two houses close together. But by the time I've got some texture in there and some roofs, and red for the roofs. Okay, we've got a red roof, some sort of Norfolk tile. That go. Let's start. To, I'm going to dry it all now. So I want to. I don't want to. Will I put on the roof to go into the walls of that building? Those buildings.
Right, while that's finishing drying, there's still water in the paper. I'm going to just put in some tree, trees on the on the horizon, just up, just just the uh, a bit darker than the background. Too much water on the brush. Well, oh, just just add some little trees. I don't want to go charge uphill because it, uh, Norfolk is quite flat inland, not so much on the coast. Well, on the north coast, that's quite hilly with Cromer, Sheringham. But the Greater Batsego came from Ludham in uh, Norfolk, where he painted a lot of wonderful paintings on Norfolk. So let's just straighten it up a little bit. Okay, nothing difficult so far. I might try, I might start using a different so mix for my greys, like um, Burnt Umber and uh, Ultramarine. Different sort of grey, that's a ready grey, but they're, they're, I, I quite like them, I've always used them. Alright, I think we can just go in with a bit of uh, detail now. Um, Get some lights, colour. This is just a lovely brush. And some shadow under the under the tiles, kind of sort of overhanging. I don't have to do everything, I just... Right, well, a bit of, bit of chimney red, burnt sienna. Don't put, don't connect the chimneys to the stacks. Just leave a little bit, little gap. Right, I'm going to use my my little flat brush, and we get some lighter. Let's have some sienna with a sort of light shining on it. Uh, that's full on there. That one. Right, but well that's right, we can put a bit of some uh, some detail on, some windows. Okay, now I want to do some trees around that, so we'll start off light, so we've got a nice and light, well I like autumn. So uh, we'll have a bit of sienna, a bit of yellow. I'll put some uh, dark in there. It's all very light touch. We'll just paint down there. Oops, gone over the edge there. 
and we're going with a bit of green. The shadow area here. Right, a bit of paint's grey in there. Some shadow on the shadow side. Okay, now just dry the brush and just take that up a little bit higher because I want some bit of dry brushy stuff in there. Okay, I can go back over that side and I'll do a bit around the, around the back. Okay, I'm going to do this one with the other side. Whew. Oh, I just got that uh, ultimate colour on that side. Okay, so there's some trees. Now I've just got a bit, bit, bit of a uh, bit of uh, detail on these houses, or just under the roofs. Lost a little bit there, but I just want to put in some some greenery. Just a bit of burnt sienna and yellow and down here. So making a, a bit of dark green. Now because it's a rough paper, you, it's a, you have to work hard at getting the paint to come off the brush, provided you haven't got it too sloppy. It takes a while to learn to, to do all these things, that lightness of touch. That's probably what most of you, are, if you're struggling, that's probably where your problem lies. That's, that's
per persiere a Bumi Lappe. Hi, that will be doing. <coughs> I will do some of uh, some of here. Some dry brush in here, and then that slow moves. No, oh, it's just this dry brush texture. <coughs> I'll uh, make something more of those, I think. Just bring them up a bit higher, make them into trees rather than bushes. It's amazing what you can do with these, but it's like that. Hey, especially you learn to use them. I don't use them often enough to get really good good with them. Just a little bit of uh, titivating. <coughs> well, I'll just put a nice bright bush in here. Okay, right, we're just going to put a bit of texture and detail on the uh, uh, on the buildings. I'm trying to find a little, a little nylon flap there somewhere. Do you think I can find it? No, no chance. brushes here that I currently use the multi colour and or an acrylic and my little rigger is not there my pay handle rigger for it is but I can't see it. Alright sorry let's use so I use my little little rigger just put in a bit of bit of dark or just that.
<coughs> put a bit more texture in over that, I think. Not so much on here, but just, just put a few twigs, branches. brush that noise outside that's the uh, the bin men right so a little bit of uh, grey just dirty these up a little bit A little bit of dark along. A lot of water in here, this, yeah. This hold a ferocious amount of water. Not much more I can do with that. I could put a fence going down here, sort of demarcation. Don't put everything in, leave some things out for your imagination. Just some little bits of Sign it. Put in a mount. Ah, oh, my fingers are cramped. Oh, more water, I think. Oh, I can't hold the brush. Look. Ah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ooh. Well, I'll probably muck up a bird as well now. Good old bird. Okay, put it in a mount, give it a photograph, put it on live, upload, and put the photograph on Facebook. <coughs> uh, right. I've got getting off of 400 um, videos on Patreon, for those that are interested. Well, there we are, sorry about my signature, God, crumbs. Let's just wind that up a little bit. Good. I can't go much higher than that. Maybe the mount is wrong for them. Let's put in this big one. The blue one, or the blue grey one. It only just about covers the edges on this. That's better. Oh, 
Right, there we are. Thanks for looking in. See you soon. Bye bye.